Hello, this is Gerald Saletti, and it's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, and your new Trends Journal's out, and the cover says it all. War whores on parade. That's all they are. A bunch of low-life pieces of shit. Prostitutes. Media whores that get paid to put out by their corporate pimps and their government whore masters. All they do is sell war and hate and fear and hysteria. One little prick, and I can't say the other bird. That's all they do. And they have a track record of it. You go back to the Iraq war, how they lied us into it. Fairness and accuracy, fairness and accuracy in reporting. Fair. Did an analysis of who they brought on the mainstream media. Peace candidates or people talking about peace or about the piece of shit, the little fucking scumbag, daddy's boy, George W. Bush, lying about weapons of mass destruction and ties to Al-Qaeda or Colin Powell, holding up a little fucking Colin of crap at the UN and the people swallowed the shit. That's the only people they brought on. The people that delivered shit and the morons that swallow this shit. And that's all we got now are the same little fucking war whores that are selling the Ukraine war without giving any of the information as to why Russia launched its military operation. But Bush could lie us into war. Obama could take out Gaddafi, destroy Syria. You think they're there for the broccoli? It's the oil. But anyway, they're war wars. So what's going on is that by focusing on this, you're missing not only the reality of what's going on and what, why it's happening and what's next, but what, are, what other important trends are shaping the future. And if you go back to our trends journal last week, I wrote in it, We are on the brink of economic March madness. That's right. That was in February, and now we're in March. And what did the equity markets do today? Bam, boom, down hard. How come? Because the Fed had. The economy is strong, and blah, 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 blah. now it's not that strong. Manufacturing is getting really weak. You know, the whole export around the world is going down. Germany's that far from in, in, into recession. The whole thing is slowing down globally. Protests going on all over the world. Big one in France today, and it's just the beginning of it. Over in Israel, week after week. No, this thing's going down big and hard. You better prepare for March Madness. Oh, gold took a big hit today, too, down over 30 bucks. But what does it mean? Where is it going? So this is very serious. Now the bet, it's almost 67% of the street is betting that the Fed's going to raise interest rates 50 basis points. Oh, yeah? All of those variable rate loans, interest rates going up. Oh, new loan applications for homes? It's only at a 28-year low. Is there going to be a housing crash? How about the office building bust? We've been talking about this only going on for three years, and now, now it's finally making the headline news. And it's not only the office building bust. Business travel is nothing compared to what it used to be. We're Zooming. I don't want to send you over to, you know, California. Yeah, get on a Zoom over here. We don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to waste my money. No, you're not going to Paris. So now all those hotels, convention centers, and all those things that depended on heavy business travel, going down big time. We are facing the greatest socioeconomic and geopolitical crisis in human history. And what no one's talking about 
is how they destroyed life with the COVID war that the fuck face is called the pandemic. It wasn't a pandemic. Again, how many people do you know personally that died from the coronavirus? And if you do know anyone, how many pre-existing comorbidities did they have? Were they obese? Of which now 42% of Americans are, and they say that within, by, by 2035, 50% of the world will be because they eat shit food. Were they obese? Did they have type 2 diabetes? Did they have 2.6 pre existing comorbidities? The damage that this thing has done, and now a little fucking scumbag, arrogant shithead, and he has the perfect name, Matt Handcock. A little fucking scumbag in the UK. They came up with the WhatsApp. They came out with all this information. We're going to scare the pants off everybody as he has his pants down fucking this chick that used to work for him. Yeah. Oh, remember the shithead saying, don't have a sex when, you, when you're having with the COVID? Oh, yeah, when you jerk off, don't forget to use the hand sanitizer and put the mask on, too. They have destroyed life in ways that are incalculable with this COVID war. And they even admitted that they called it a war, a war, and to frighten the people so they would obey. And that's what everybody did. And that's why I'm hated by a bunch of little fucking scumbags in Kingston when I held peace rallies. That's right. They closed down. They hate me for having peace rallies. And how dare I had a peace rally and freedom rally when everything was locked down by another arrogant fucking scumbag piece of shit Andrew Cuomo, who was such a good piece of shit that Hollywood gave him an Emmy because shitheads love shitheads, because he bullshitted the people so well, gave so much fear and hysteria. Oh, and talking about clowns and arrogant people in charge, we got one down there in New York City, Mayor Eric Adams. Eric Adams, who forced people to get the COVID jab, the public servants. Oh, and then had the booster shot campaign. Oh, yeah, recently. That Eric Adams now telling people, when you walk into a store, don't wear a mask. Because of the fucking crime rates everywhere. Yeah, one time only criminals wore masks. And now all the shitheads do. The crime rate, oh, we only warned about this in the Trends Journal. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it. We only warned about the um, office building bust only three years ago. This thing is out of control. Oh, by the way, over there in Portland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lipchard, Oregon. Yeah. The Walmarts are closing down. You know why? Because crime is going up. People are robbing shit everywhere. This did not happen before COVID, but nobody's talking about this. We're providing you with socioeconomic and geopolitical trends analysis and trend forecasts in depth that you won't find anywhere else in the world. And this Trends Journal is filled with information that you need. Trends on the economic front. Wait till you read the economic update. Yep. SPAC this, pal. What's happening to them? Recession trend. Yep. See what shoppers are doing and where this thing is going to go? Millennials. They're only about $4 trillion in debt, and it's going to get a lot worse. The average mortgage rate, the average mortgage rate now, they're going up as high as over 7%. What does that mean? And again, top trend 2023, office building bust. You know what else is happening? Major retailers 
are leaving the big cities because of the crime rate and they're going to the burbs. We warned about all this and the worst is yet to come. And then we have trends on the global economic front. When the economy fails, jobs go with it. This is our 31st week of listing all of these jobs going out. It's, it's what you're hearing in the media. They're prostitutes only spewing out. Bullshit. Yep. So, and uh, impact of Europe's gas price lingers. You see the inflation rate still going up. It only hit about eight point something in, uh, oh, it, 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 it wasn't as bad as they said it was in Germany. It came down from 8.7 to 8.6. That's the fucking shit that they put out there. Hey, fuck face, it went down one-tenth of a percentage point, and you got the fucking headline that it's lower than it, than it was? It went down? Yep. Business bankruptcy soar in, in Europe. And we have a whole spotlight trend in what's going on in China. As I said, the 21st century will be the Chinese century. The 20th century was the American century. Because the business of America is business. No, excuse me, I got that backwards. The business of America is war, and the business of China is business. America's budget, military budget, defense budget, is almost $860 billion, a country of 332 million people. China, with 1.4 billion people, their military budget is like 224 billion. And where they got about a dozen bases overseas, or America has over 700 overseas in some 80 countries. Anyway, a lot more, a lot more. Yep. And then a the Ukraine war trend update. Germany, no peace permitted. They're again at war with Russia. Yep. Germany Schultz slaps back at protesters saying ending weapons flow to Ukraine won't end war. No, just keep the weapons going. It's over over there. And all they do is have these headlines over there. Oh, they're going to kill Putin. They're losing this. No, they're not. They're not losing. Russia's winning. And the longer the war goes on, the worse it's going to be for everybody. And again, totally against the war. But as we wrote in the Trends Journal back in 2014. Here it is. Guys, really happy, huh? We all understand why it happened. The United States coup of the democratically elected government of Viktor Yanukovych by scumbag John McCain and Victoria Nuland and others, the Obama. And Dr. Paul Craig Roberts wrote the article in here. And he also has an article in this week's Trends Journal. Does the Kremlin desire the conflict in Ukraine to spin out of control. A great article in here by Dr. Joseph Mercola, mainstream puppets now admit lab leak caused pandemic. Trends in the markets, you can't miss this one. Systemic breakdown is accelerating and deliberate. The facts are all there by Gregory Manorino. Trends in technocracy by Joe Duran. The human, yep, commodity evolution. And you got to look up his book on Amazon, the human. It is, it, this guy has the technocracy trends that you won't find anywhere else, nowhere, as we have him in the Trends Journal. Want to find your niche as a human content creator? Go anti-woke and full disinfo. This week in surveillance, this week in cryptos, this week in the COVID war, trends in geopolitics, what's going on in Israel, what's going on in Afghanistan, what's going on in Syria, what's going on all over the world. U.S. hegemony persists, will remain in Middle East for long haul. Yep, that's the bullshit coming out of the mouth of U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Last job he had sitting on the board of directors of Raytheon. What the fuck are we doing there? I'm an American. I'm a patriot. I believe in the founding fathers. 
no foreign entanglements. And we have Trends in High Tech Science by Ben Davis and Trends I View. I talk about people swallowing shit. And this story is keep swallowing shit news, eating shit food. Again, more than half of humanity will be fat, obese by 2023. And a lot, lot, lot more. We're giving you everything we can. We are in very, very dangerous times right now. What happened with the economy today, with the equity markets, is really big news. When are they going to lower interest rates? We have the date when it's going to happen. And again, if they don't come back and loosen up on what they said the Powell said today, the Fed head, March Madness is on the near horizon. You go back to your Trends Journal, October 1999, dot-com bust. We said it would happen by the second quarter of 2000. It happened in March of 2000. March Madness is on the near horizon. Thanks for tuning in. And remember tomorrow, Salenti and the judge, Judge Andrew Napolitano, no man anywhere, any place that knows the Constitution, Declaration of Independent, Constitution and Bill of Rights, than Judge Napolitano and what's going on and what to be aware of and what to be weary of and what to do to change it. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned and remember, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button because they don't like me out there and they want to get rid of... Uh, you know, try to get more people to view and subscribe to the Trends Journal because I'm not one of the club and it's one big club and we ain't in it. So support yourself by subscribing to the Trends Journal and hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and tell others to hit it too. See you soon. Bye-bye. At the Trends Journal, the best investment you could make because it's the best investment into your mind and it can change how you look at the world. Over the last 30 years, Joe Salante has been more accurate about predicting what would be happening than anyone else I'm aware of. The Trends Journal is one of the greatest sources of information and it's uh, and it really is. You're predicting these things well ahead of time. I would encourage everyone to go grab the latest copy. I've been a Trends a Journal subscriber for 20 years. I just have to commend you. What you guys have put together in your latest Trends Journal there's nothing like this out there. So everything that you predicted about the economy, you were absolutely right. So I, I, I have followed you all this time. So please take a look at the Trends Journal. You correctly forecast that the Fed would hike rates quite aggressively. Correctly said that initially gold and silver would drop as the Fed starts to raise rates to one and a half percent and above. When we spoke last, Bitcoin was around 49,000. You said you expect to drop, and if it drops below 30, 35, then it could really drop. Trends Journal, which I would encourage people to go and check out. It's actually a 200-page document, pure data-driven analysis. Gerald Salenti, the top trends forecaster in the world. Gerald, you had an interesting call back in September of last year. You said gold had bottomed, which is exactly what happened. And here we are, and we're above $1,900. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens at trendsjournal.com.